Hello everybody, Kwip here, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Trials. And in this week of Trials, the map is Firebase Delphi, or Delphi, or whatever you want to call it. And as always, we'll start out with some weapon suggestions. Uh, starting out with what primaries I think are going to play best on this map. I think that the Aes Luna and Palindrome archetype of hand cannon is an absolutely fantastic primary to go with on this map. Just about the entire map is in its ideal range and it's going to be very effective. As long as you're staying inside, which is about 75% of this map, there are those outskirts on the edge and those like dome head glitches outside where a hand cannon might not work too well, but it's quite easy to stay away from that area and it's a more advantageous position to not be outside. So I'd say sticking indoors with a hand cannon is going to be a great option for you. And then if you want to do something other than a hand cannon, pulse rifles also work very well indoors. And there's a lot of mid and close range engagements indoors, so the pulses will work pretty well for that as well. And then I wouldn't recommend using any autos yet, you might have to wait a week for that one. Uh, scout rifles can do alright outside if you've got a pretty good one, otherwise probably not the best option for this map. Uh, moving on to secondary weapons, I'd say that sniping is rather pointless on this map unless you're maybe using NLB. There are some corridors where you can maybe get some picks using it, but a lot of the times you're probably just going to get flinched out of that. Or you can be rushed effectively by people with strong close range loadouts, so I wouldn't really recommend sniping on this map. I'd say that shotguns are definitely the strongest special weapon for this map. There's a whole lot of close quarters areas. And this is one of the better shotgun maps in the game, so that's definitely going to be effective. Uh, when I was using fusion rifles, I also felt that it worked pretty well. As long as you play pretty cautiously with your fusion and make sure to be aware of the people that are probably shotgunning against you. Then moving on to what subclasses you use, I'm going to start off with hunters this time. Uh, Night Stalker, that's been my pick for the last couple weeks. And for the same reason as the last couple weeks as well, spike nades are unreal on this map. Spike nades and lightning grenades and grenades like that that kind of project outward from walls are super good here. There's so many flat surfaces in the indoors that you can be effective with them on. And that type of grenade is kind of the ideal grenade to have on this map. So spike nades are going to be super good for you, especially by the B flag area. And as I always say, the smoke in the shade step is always clutch as well. Then moving on to titans, I'm again picking striker because lightning grenades are great for the same reasons as spike grenades. So striker is definitely my pick for titan. And then warlocks, honestly, I don't think this is that great of a warlock map. I feel like they don't have too many great grenades for this map, and they don't have any of the lightning type grenades. But I'd say the next closest thing and the strongest grenade that they have is the Axion Bolt, and so I think Voidwalker is probably the best option for this map. Axion Bolts will get people moving, tag some people up in the inside areas, and the super is just going to be very consistent and helpful for you in shutting down other supers and getting picks. And so that's what I would go with for Warlocks. Moving on to some other advice, I would say that you want to get some good control in the middle and inside portion of the map, because if you get stuck outside, you don't really have any type of cap point advantage, and it's really easy for the other team to kind of just to camp you out. However, when you are indoors and trying to keep that good control, I would say try to avoid the B flag room as much as possible, because as I said, that's an extremely great place for grenades, and if you get stuck in there, you're going to get hit with a lot of nades and can often get picked in that room. So I'd say try to avoid that room if you can. Now to talk a bit about heavy. Heavy is in this inside area over here underneath this suspended box, I guess. And what I would do from the inside spawn is stay kind of close to this area where you can be right next to the tunnel that is leading directly to heavy and also the big hole up into your right. And you can zone off both of those areas pretty easily with some shotguns or grenades. And then you can also see opposite of you where that giant rotating door is if people try to challenge from that area. And really this inside spawn has quite an advantage on heavy. They get into the heavy room a lot faster and they can easily lock down all three of the entrances that the other team has. So you kind of just want to hold off those areas for a while and then probably just get heavy because the other team has to go through some extremely tight spaces to try to get into the heavy room. And so for my strategy on the opposite side when you have the outside spawn, it's a really tough heavy round for you, and the two entrances that I would not recommend taking are the ones closer to B flag, that really skinny tunnel underneath, and the big hole above B flag. I would not jump through there, because those are the smallest openings and smallest choke points, so they're going to be easier for people to focus fire and hit you with some grenades in that area. Whereas if you all go to the large rotating door 
on your side of the spawn, then that's a bit of a bigger choke point and they won't be able to nade you as well and there's a bit more variation of where you can be so you're not quite as predictable. And cap point is directly above the heavy ammo box on the floating box thing, so that's where that is. And then quickly what I thought my best routes on this map were, from the outside spawn I would usually just jump through the window and then try to get over to B flag and throw some nades, and often you can get some picks in the B area. And then from the other spawn I kind of do the opposite thing, I go through inside and then challenge at kind of the back of the horseshoe and try to get some nade kills or hit some people that are close to the window. But anyway that's going to do it for all my advice on Firebase Delphi. Thanks for watching the video and see you later.